Steph, thank you. Now to a story. The Target 12 investigators first broke as an Eyewitness News exclusive. An East Greenwich firefighter accused of deleting fire department data appeared before a judge today. East Greenwich officials say the deleted data was the blueprint for the town fire alarm system that protects everything from schools to elderly housing facilities. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima was in court for the arraignment today. She joins us now with an update. The arraignment lasted all of two minutes. Ex-East Greenwich firefighter Robert Warner appeared in Superior Court to answer to two felony counts of computer trespass. It was a speedy arraignment for 42-year-old Robert Warner. Judge, the vote counts not guilty this time. The Warwick man and 16-year veteran of the East Greenwich Fire Department is accused of deleting computer records for the town's fire alarm system. Warner was released on $5,000 personal recognizance. Neither he nor his attorney would talk to us. Uh, no comment. But embattled East Greenwich town manager Gail Corrigan did. She was in court for the arraignment and tells us the evidence against Warner is substantial. It's just profound disappointment uh, for a firefighter, someone sworn to protect people, to then do something that actually just the deteriorates the safety of people. Prosecutors say Warner erased the information back in June on the same day he resigned from his position as communications director. He was fired by town council one month later for reasons including insubordination for failing to follow orders to help restore the files. And there's no duplicate copies of this information. That was the only copy of it? That was the only copy. So lessons are definitely learned. We still don't know the motive behind the alleged crime. And did Warner tell you all was it an accident? Did he accidentally click erased? Does it seem like it was intentional? Uh, he never mentioned a word about it. Corrigan says since the data was deleted, alarms inside the affected buildings would still go off, but the fire department would not be notified. So unless somebody called 911, and hopefully somebody would call 911. Warner is due back in court for a pretrial hearing on December 18th. I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.